You know, they say that a successful young architect is about 60 years old. Episode 146. Hello and welcome to the Business of Architecture UK. I'm your host, Ryan Willard. And this week I'm talking to Baranovitz and Cronenberg who are an architecture and interior design firm of Irene Cronenberg and Alon Baranovich. They've based in both Amsterdam and Tel Aviv. And for the last 20 years, they've developed an incredible portfolio of hotels, restaurants, public and commercial spaces that have been very popular with their target demographics. Alon had studied at the Pratt Institute in New York, prior to setting up the firm, and Irene had graduated from the Technion School of Interior Design in Tel Aviv in 1981. And in this interview, they talk about how the partnership formed, how they successfully navigate being a husband and wife partnership, as well as partners in business, which I know many and many of architecture and design firms have that uh, husband and wife uh, relationship and it can be a really powerful um, frame and connection and a way of doing business as well as a unique set of obstacles and challenges you might say. So Irene and Alon discuss this, they discuss how they develop long-lasting relationships with clients, how they were winning work in those early days and many of the philosophies and strategies that they have developed in running a profitable and successful design company. So sit back, relax, and enjoy Irene Cronenberg and Alon Baranovic. This podcast is produced by Business of Architecture, a leading business consultancy for architects and design professionals. This episode is sponsored by Smart Practice, Business of Architecture's flagship program to help you structure your firm for freedom, fulfillment, and financial profit. If you want access for our free training on how to do this, please visit smartpracticemethod.com. Or if you want to speak directly to one of our advisors about how he might be able to help you, please follow the link in the information. Elon and Irene, welcome to the Business of Architecture. How are you both? Um, great here today, uh, actually. <laughs> yes. Yeah, we one. just, uh, yeah, we just uh, did our first uh, ticket, uh, flight Reserve- ticket reservation. Congratulations. Yeah. <laughs> the first in one year. Yeah. yeah, in half an year, yeah, actually, yeah. <laughs> amazing, amazing. I, und- I understand that Israel has actually been very good with their vaccin- vaccinations and you guys have started to open up quite a lot now. Yeah, yes. yeah, we are 100, Alon and I were 100% safe. <laughs> wow, amazing. It's actually 19.5 safe, but uh, <laughs> good, good enough, let's say. <laughs> I think that half of, half of the population is already vaccinated yeah, half of twice, uh, Wow, which, which is a very good sign. Uh, yeah, we... Yeah, some things we know how to do. Huh? Yeah, I know, but uh, actually you can feel that uh, the, the world is uh, starting to waking up, no? Yeah, it feels yeah. like it. And slowly. Is, it's exciting, yes. yeah. <laughs> Amazing, slowly, slowly. Well, welcome to the show. Um, fantastic to be speaking with you both. You are the founders of Baranowitz and Cronenberg, um, the design design practice. You're, you're based primarily in Tel Aviv and you have other offices in the Netherlands. And I suppose the first question is, how did, how did, how did you create such an accomplished studio? What, was the, what were the first moments of inception? <laughs> with, with blood and sweat. And, uh, uh, blood and sweat, <laughs> but always it starts, always it starts by, by chance, you know? Yeah. Uh, actually, uh, I, 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 my background is interior design. Right. And uh, I, I start to look for a, for a space for my firm. And it was in a kind of a artistic neighborhood. Yeah, upcoming, upcoming neighborhood. neighborhood uh, where you have a lot of uh, uh, artisans. artisans and uh, sure. artists. Uh, at that time, I did a lot of uh, residentials for yeah, very high level uh, residentials. I wasn't sure that this, this was the right place to have a interior design residential uh, studio. Yeah. And uh, the guy from the building said, "Listen, in the in the second floor, there is an architect." <laughs> 
you can ask him. <laughs> <laughs> so she knocked on my door and uh, she asked me a few questions about, you know, the rent, uh, the owners of the building and so on. And how is the neighborhood? Is it safe enough? Uh, and then she disappeared and became my uh, neighbor uh, upstairs. And we met like in the uh, escalators, you know, in the uh, main uh, staircase. Uh, staircase. Uh, good morning, good evening, how are you? You know, like good neighbors. Yeah. Uh, and uh, one day I was um, commissioned for an interior design project. And right. until then I was basically involved in city planning and residentials and neighborhood planning and uh, architecture. So I told, uh, well, I didn't know anything about, you know, uh, interior design. Uh, I mean, I knew a lot about interior design, but not, I've never done a project in interior design. So, right. well, I've, I've uh, well, there's a neighbor upstairs. Her name is uh, Irena and she's doing interior designs. So why don't I consult with her? So she taught me a lot. She uh, she has a huge experience by then, and uh, I I continued with my project. And then another interior design a project uh, was commissioned. Uh, and then I asked Irene, why don't we do it together? You know, I mean, instead of you know discussing and helping each other, let's do it together. Uh, and and the rest is history, I must say. <laughs> yeah. And and when was that? When was that first project? Opa, yeah, uh, let me think. I think it was the. Uh, eight, uh, no, uh, no, it was no, no, no. It was ninety-two, ninety-three, uh, something yeah. like this. Yeah. Got it. Got it. So that's that's kind of thirty. Yeah, many many years ago. Yeah, many years ago. Amazing. And what what has been one of the kind of key elements to 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 maintaining this successful relationship between you? Listen, it's not about maintaining, it's to create, actually, it's more about to create. Right. <laughs> it's something that uh, it takes time, uh, you know, it, and, and I can tell you it wasn't easy at the very beginning, the communication. It was easier when I wasn't, when we weren't partners uh, in a project. Uh, you know, it's uh, when you are a you are a consultant, but you are not committed to a process. It's uh, it's easy because you can keep distance. But in the you know two uh, designers, architects that they are actually you know uh, they are uh, they are used to be in the front of their own firm, yes. uh, collaborating together, uh, and uh, uh, it's not uh, not always it's it's easy. And the two, the two of us, we have a quite uh, developed ego. <laughs> so <laughs> ego, so it wasn't easy. Mm. Uh, but uh, uh, but we managed. We couldn't listen. There, I can tell you, it's like a, with a, a, every relationship in, in you know that you have. It's uh, like there are many reasons why to stop it. Yes. But then there is a kind of an energy that doesn't allow you to stop it, you know, <laughs> and it's the understanding, basically, that we were better together than being alone, being alone. Uh, and the, the projects, it was tough, you know, to getting along and to 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 agree on things. But the results were much better mm. than the results that we had in projects when we did it alone. So we understand that it's here. It's not a. It's tough. It's uh, you need uh, you know you need uh, very strong uh, n- nerves. But at the same time, uh, the the it's like Alon said. Listen, it's why like one plus one. It's not two. It's eleven. It's something that uh, it was it. It was very clear that in order to keep going and investing in the relation in the professional relationship, we need the results. They they, they must be, you know, uh, it, amazing. It if must, not, it doesn't worth the, yeah, the right. it effort. Must, it must be worth it, and and it took us time to just to consolidate our role in this uh, uh, relationship. You know. Mm. Uh, because uh, Irene's photos are totally different than my photos, which is a great thing. So uh, if she has like uh, five, you know, very strong photos, and I have another five, this is ten photos in an office. Yes. So we don't we don't share our photos really. We are very different, and I think this is this is what brings in this beautiful synergy 
uh, between us. Uh, like one and one is 11, as we say. Uh, so I think that um, it takes time to understand that. It takes time to understand your place, uh, to make place for the other as in any relationship. And I think this is very, this is, this is, I think this is the basic, uh, this is the basic platform from which you can further develop yourself in your practice. Um, yeah, when you are a, a small office, obviously you do a lot. So the, the, uh, the, the, the borders, the borderline, it's, uh, it's uh, blurring. But in the moment the, the office is growing, it's much easier to decide who is, uh, who is, the, uh, who is in charge, who has the last word. At the end, at the, at the end of the day, in a, in, in a practice, mm -hmm. you cannot agree in everything all the time, but you need to keep going all the time. This yeah. is important. That's why at certain point, there is one that needs to have the, 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 the last word in something. Mm. And this is, was a process that we, uh, we really dig into ourselves and into the relationship to understand who is going to have the last word in what. <laughs> how, how did you how did you decide that how, how do you, how do you about our process we did yeah. a, we did a process we did a process of uh, with a with a culture actually right that uh, help us very much to understand the yes to understand what are the forces of each uh, each of us and we came out that the 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 the, the first forte of alone it's invention Mm -hmm. And my first sports, it's leading. So invention and living. Leading. 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 Leadership. 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 Got it. Got it. Yeah. So, okay. So it was kind of, okay, we can see it. We can think about concepts. We can think uh, there are, it's the team. Uh, sometimes, you know, I have this kind of uh, uh, ability of, to see the big picture. So uh, 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 more the strategic uh, part of the design. And so, it's, okay, if we come, we don't come to under, under, an understanding and it's about uh, uh, the design direction of the project, when it comes to design proper, not when, not when it comes to uh, to function, okay? Yes. But when it comes to design proper, uh, if we don't come to an understanding, Alan has the last word. And uh, when it comes the way that we, if first of all, if a project will, uh, uh, we accept a project in the office, yes or no, how we prepare the the um, the design fee proposal, how we negotiate the contracts, all of those, it's a very important part. Uh, and uh, I, I'm sure that you know how difficult it's for a, a, a design offices to make a living, Yes, <laughs> actually. And one of the problem is that we, um, mo we don't put a lot of offer effort in in the in the business part right as the business part it's very important and if you take if you give the 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 the, the real importance that it has then you have the time mm. to be more creative it's like you know you help yourself being creative when you have a, um a, a, when you I don't know how to say it, but it's it, you need to be to have a the methodology of work. You need to be in control. Uh, you can you need to have the borders uh, the borders of the back of the playground, and then you can play uh, really free into the playground. But if you don't have the borders, uh, it's it's a mess. And no, then you can to... be very creative and projects are a mess. You cannot get enough uh, enough uh, uh, work because you can you don't have the time and then you gone you don't uh, invest enough uh, time uh, to the projects and then they become worse, less good than because mm. you don't have the time to so it's a kind of you know you it's run a, after yourself. It's a kind of um just to I think what Irene means is that uh, everything is, anything we do is is one big puzzle, and and each piece of a puzzle is important for the 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 end result, which is a very clear, uh, you know, uh, photograph or, or or image 
yes. that we are looking, we are searching for. And and as even if you if you miss one one piece of the puzzle, you know, then then it's never complete. It's never it's never perfect. And and I think that the business part of of what we do, of what designers do, of what you know, um, is the business is is not less important. Uh, than the design and and the, all the pieces of the puzzle that belong to the business part have to be there. Otherwise, you will never get there. You will never get there. And 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 this is something that, well, we've learned it many many years ago. And and for us, the business section and the creative section are as strong, uh, you know. And and this is very important because you cannot complete the puzzle without having your business platform well in place you know you organize yourself properly you develop the methodology and you follow it yeah uh, and then and then when you clear this up you're really as Irene said you are you, you can you can now go and play in your playground you know Hi. Um, yeah it wasn't easy at the beginning because we we weren't like this yes but uh, 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 what it takes is that you, at the end of the day you need to define yourself what do you want to do Okay. Well, what what were some of the early business disciplines that you that you knew you had to get right that would allow you to be able to play? Yeah, we didn't know at the beginning. What we know, what we knew, is that we, uh, for us, it's very important to be, uh, uh, you know, to, to not to give up in the quality of work. Yes, to have the time because we enjoy very much to have the time to think about the project. Uh, not to sketch something and to repeat it. Uh, it was very clear that the, the, the invention part of Alon uh, needs to be fulfilled. If not, he's getting bored very easily. And I understood that, that uh, 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 we need to, uh, all the work that BK plus K will do, it's a one off. Yes. Because if not, we don't, our creative director, is getting bored, so <laughs> we not do that. He's leaving the <laughs> He's leaving the <laughs> So, uh, and, and then we understood, and, and of course we lose a lot of money because we invest so much. And, and, and then we said, okay, we cannot work in a different way in terms of the creative part because this is us. So right. what we need to do in order to be able to keep working uh, and, and thinking like this. Absolutely, and and I think that uh, one of the, I think one of the um, uh, insights that we uh, discovered or not discovered, we, we we that we agreed upon is that we will never be more than fifty people in the office, because we felt that more than fifteen people we are going to lose control. We would need to bring projects just to feed the monster, and we don't want to feed the monster right. every, every morning. So we want to be able to say no to clients if the if the project is not right for us, uh, for so many reasons. Uh, we want to be there. We want to be in a place where we say no, thank you. Um, and you cannot do it when you have a huge office, you know, because you need to feed the monster. And also in terms of our characters, Irene and I, we are people that, you know, we like to roll up our sleeves, put our hands in the mud, you know, and, and do it together with the team and feel that this is what we enjoy the most. So it's not about that we wanted to develop our managing skills, but we wanted to do design and dream and innovate. We've 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 managing skills, but that are good enough for a kind of a size that we can live, you know, happily with. And I think that uh, I can tell you that, for example, um, when we had a crisis in 2000, you know, when we had the right. intifada, you know, uh, in in Israel, unfortunately, uh, everything stopped, and and we we laid off everybody. You know, it's like. Pulling the, the, the rope in the train, you know, you just pull it, emergency, everybody's flying out of the window, you know, because oh, that's what happens. Uh, and then we are left alone. And we were, and we said we are not going to reduce our fees. We are going to keep our fees, you know. And we worked like crazy, like eight people, just me and Irene. And one, one, and one person that yeah. we left in the office. Wow. And nobody knew what happened, you know. Nobody knew that BK has, you know, 
uh, instead of a 12 people office went to three, you know? Uh, so we worked like hell, you know, uh, no sleep, no nothing. And, and, and <laughs> we, we didn't, we didn't reduce our fees, you know, and the entire city went down with their fees. And we knew that if we're going to bring them down, we'll never be able to come up right. with better fees. So yeah, we had less projects, but we were only three. So come on, yeah, we can manage. Mm-hmm. So, so these are the things that you have to be very connected to yourself mm. and be honest with yourself and not go around and fool yourself that you can do something that you don't want to do or you cannot do. Mm-hmm. Um, yeah. so. I think that it's uh, very important to, to, to understand, as, as we, we said before, who you are, what do you want from your life? You know, yeah. and this is important. You need to define yourself. And when you're defining yourself, you're, you define yourself in your private life, in professional life. And we know that the professional and private in our profession, you cannot say it's not a clean cut. Yeah. Uh, and this is what we did. We understood that we want to be very involved in the, in, the, in the process of every project. What brought us to the point that we cannot be more than 15 people because we cannot manage directly. So at the same time, you want to grow and you don't want to do big projects all over. So what is, is the way to do that? Mm-hmm. So we decided, OK, we have a, a very, very strong team that they have a managing a project management abilities as much as creative and they can uh, together with us they can uh, uh, run the projects and we have teams in different countries that they they help us uh, to do the uh, the repetition uh, let's say in, a, in an hotel, you do a mock-up, you, do, you study another two rooms to understand all the problematics that you can have there, and then you need to repeat the work. Yeah. And then uh, from this moment, Alon and I were not involved. We were involved in the first part. In the second part, we are not involved. Who's involved is the senior designer that has the weekly meetings with this team, and he runs the pr- so uh, uh, we have a very strong team here that it's in the main office, but actually we have supporting teams that they are not in the everyday part of the BK, right. but they work for us all sort of the time. Because if not, you cannot grow. So it's amazing, great, but you cannot get to do projects that they are very articulate. This is also good for the clients because uh, when we did the WNE visa, so our team was in Madrid. So for the client was great. He wanted us in the project, but at the same time, it's great to have a team that is um, close by the project that can be available. Uh, when, so uh, so, so when, when, when you were doing projects like that uh, uh, in, in different locations, were you finding talent locally or were you sending people out there to conduct the no, project? We, uh, finding people is the toughest, really is the toughest, job ever right um and uh, it takes time uh because you need to see them in action you want to see how they perform and each project is different each project has its own you know stories so once we find them we hug them you know we keep them close to us because they're very precious uh, so we have now in madrid uh we have in kiev um so 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 in that's amsterdam and in amsterdam well, as well yeah. but and and so this is this is how we work with them, and um, yeah, I mean, I think that the main uh, listen uh, talent it's not enough. Uh, even when we do, I'm I'm in charge of uh, HR in the office, so uh, the interviews uh, when we need to uh, recruit. Uh, recruit. So it starts always uh, with a meeting face to face or Zoom face. Uh, uh, and uh, I always say, the, the, please don't open the portfolio. We already got your CVs. We got your portfolio. That's why we are meeting right now. And um, uh, and I explained that the 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 the, 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 the interview. interview it goes like this. That actually we are going uh, we are going to have a conversation and to try to understand the expectations. What are our common common grounds? Uh, this is because at the end of the day, everything starts 
with people and everything it's about people. Yeah. And you can have the most amazing talent in the world and it will not work. Uh, so uh, the first thing is understanding if you have someone in front of you that you can communicate. And then if it goes, we go into the, the second uh, interview that is about, uh, let's say, uh, open your portfolio and please explain us uh, what is the, was the, your level, what, it, what was your um, uh, thought uh, during the, the development of the project, what was the level of uh, involvement that you have and this and that. But first of all, it's, we choose first of all people. Yeah. Because uh, what they are. How, how, do, how, do you, how do you attract the right people into the, in the first place? Wow. This is the tough one. This is the toughest one, I must say. Um, it takes us a lot. I mean, we get... I mean, out. I think we get, we we get for an e for just to interview a person. It's it's like one of thirty or one of twenty five wow. that we get. We pick one that feels like somebody we would we are keen to to interview, right? But I want to say something. Um, I think it is important for the listeners that um, at, at some point very early in our career we decided that we wanted to be international, right? Uh, and then we said, okay, if we want to be international, that means that we need to fly a lot. You know, we were very young and we knew that we have to be there. We have to be there for the clients because we believe that somebody is, uh, you know, um, wants BK, he needs to get BK and not the, uh, you know, the doorkeeper. So, okay, so if we, if we, if we fly so much, we need somebody in the office, you know, to keep the, you know, to keep it running. And then we understood that the, that the entire profile of the people that we received until then was not the right profile for the office because they, are, they don't have managing skills. They don't have project management skills. And I'm talking about 20, 20, yeah. Yeah, 20 years ago. Right. So we said, so one, one of these, what Irene mentioned before, that we have a culture, you know, to, to work on our forties and what is the Northern Star of what is our Northern Star? So I said, if we want to be international, then we need to change completely the profile of the people in the office. So slowly by, I think it took us a few years, yeah. right? To change completely the personnel in the office to people who could have their own office if they wanted to, but they just chose to work with us. So, yeah. and, and that's what really helped us to fly away, you know, to, to, to get off these weights from our shoulders and say, we can fly, we can be all over the world. And we know that we have the right people in the office that can run it uh, by themselves, you know, with our guidance from uh, wherever we are uh, in the world. So this is, so it's a, it's a tough mission to find these yeah. kinds of people. Yeah, at the same time, it's very important that you have a very clear methodology of work because then the people, everyone, think and work on this, not think and create on the same way. But yes, there is the, the frame is the same for everybody. Right. And this is uh, something that is very, very important. So even when we are uh, recruiting someone, uh, he has uh, a meeting with the office manager about how we behave and act and uh, uh, here, and then um, meeting with the, one of the senior designers uh, that uh, shows him the way we are thinking and create uh, uh, projects. Even if someone with a lot of experience is coming here, it will he will do the same. He or she will do the same for the first uh, two months as a, a, G, a junior. Right. Because for us, it's in very important uh, and, and it's very clear how we uh, produce, how we create concepts. Uh, there is a way, there is a methodology of work. If we say today, today, uh, there is a, a client that calls us and says, guys, uh, this hotel in this place, this is the plans, this is the, the what I would like to, uh, to do. And then uh, we present the project to the team and... Uh, and we tell them, uh, let's meet in two days. They know exactly what they need to do. They need to go and 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 make make, make a research. They split the work between uh, them. It's for us. It's very important that at a certain level, 
uh, most of the creative team uh, it's uh, into the same project, you know, things together. It's at the very preliminary phase of the project. So they do their research and they come back with the contextual insights of the project. And from there, we go to the more the creative part that it's more about the uh, interpretation, uh, um, abstract interpretation of these facts. And from there, we go into the physical uh, 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 interpretation of, of, of that. So it's very, very clear the way we do it, the way uh, we think about it. Everyone has... Uh, of course, his own uh, uh, freedom, uh, freedom uh, but uh, the, the stages are the stages. We don't we don't jump and uh, you know and forget a stage. No. Between it's uh, like I said, uh, between the borders, the playground you can play as much as you can, but the borders should be very clear. How how do you communicate those borders to the team? How do how do people learn the framework, if you like? Do you have like a like a like an operations manual which people read through, or is it more training based? Training well, we, based, training based yeah. and we have a manual. I mean, each one, each person that comes to uh, to the office, we prepare, we 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 develop the manual uh, about um, how things are done in the office. Yeah, but right? more technical. It, this is from the technical point of view yeah. because you cannot you you know you cannot uh, teach uh, creativity through. Uh, reading forms and whatever mm -hmm. but uh, but then um, it's we, we give we allow a lot of time for newcomers to you know feel at home and get acquainted with this office because it's not a usual office it's really not uh, I mean the way we do stuff is very different from where they are coming from mm -hmm. so we we let them watch look look into the presentations of other projects that have been done in the office and then they start to feel you know the how uh deep it is and how complex it is and how uh you know ins inspirational it is and how we present things and how we express things and what is the you know the aesthetic uh, language of the office so they start like um you know tasting from the office, slowly, slowly. So we give them the time to adjust. It's not something that uh, one enters and the same day is producing plans, not at all. It takes a few days for him to just browse, you know, through our folders of projects, you know, just to get acquainted. And he has question, he has somebody that is tutoring him, like Irene mentioned, it could be a, a senior or a project manager. And he's, 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 he, he makes sure that he goes through all the stages and understands how, how we develop anything. Okay. Yeah. Uh, yeah this is, I this think is... that at the end of the day, what we want Alon and I to achieve is to have every, a very smooth communication with each member of the, of the, the firm. Uh, and the only way to do it, it's okay from the meetings that we have, from the going from one step to another, they, and they start to understand the way we think. And we, it's not that we have a formula uh, and we, we are not an office that design on a certain style, but we have a certain way of thinking about design. It right. makes right. things more complicated. It's not that you see photos or whatever. It's ah, oh, this is the style of the office. Uh, we call it, um, we don't move the base from one corner to another, okay? It's not about that. It's not a beauty it's, committee. It's not a beauty committee. So <laughs> it's about, a, a, it's, it, it takes, of course, you need to be a skilled person, an intelligent person to understand. And, uh, but uh, uh, that's why we said, okay, listen, don't feel that you need to say anything and you need to express yourself. You will have the time. We have, we give you the time, be here. Mm. And uh, it, it doesn't matter that you manage uh, three projects at the same time, ta, 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 ta. this office is different. So we are going, although you have the skills, but let us, mm -hmm. you know, take it slowly and let's go from one step to another, because after this project, we will know exactly what is expected from you. Right. Um, yeah. yeah, I mean, if you want people to succeed, um, you have to give them time, 
uh, you have to, um, they, they truly need to understand, you know, the, the philosophy of our practice. And, and then, you know, when they start, we, we, when they start working for us, we slowly discover, and it's very important, mm -hmm. what are the forties of this specific person? Because we, once we discover what are the, his forties, and it takes a few months to understand what are the forties of a person, then we, 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 the, 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 the pieces of work that we give him to do are only related to his forties. We don't let him do stuff that we know that is going to be at best mediocre. We give him, you know, we find his forties and we empower them because when we empower his forties, he empowers us. Yes. And, and, you know, uh, there's a beautiful saying that goes, uh, I am because we are. Okay, and this is this is our office. We, Irene and I, are because we are. We are is the entire team. And and I think that if you let people every morning do what they are best in, you know, so they are passionate about it, you know, they have whatever they do is meaningful, and it really brings the office to the next level. Yeah. Uh, if you let them do stuff that they don't like or they are not good at. It's a waste of time. It's frustration. And then usually people leave because that's not what they want to do. So it's a very complicated, complicated. formula. <laughs> how do you do that? How, how, do you, how do you find or identify what some of your team's fortes are? Well, we, we let them, we let them, we, we, at some point they, they, they jump into the water and they yeah. need to perform. And then you see if the guy is uh, creative or the guy is technical, or the guy has managing skills. Can he uh -huh. run a group of people or not? You know, all the, you you need time for you that. Feel you feel this say, quite at the beginning because, as I said, you at the at the first. A, a first project, it's like there are a few uh, um, uh, um, stops, you know, a few uh, that that everyone needs to do. It doesn't matter if he will do at the end of the day more creative or more technical, but mm -hmm. he needs to understand to understand the office how we build the concept. Even if at the end of the day your 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 focus is in a technical uh, uh, design and uh, man, uh, you know and solving architectural problems but you in order to understand this office you need to understand how you build a concept during this first time you 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 see the people you see people that they have this ability of abstract thinking and you see people that they are very con uh, you know yeah. uh, so this is the kind of things and sometimes you help them a little bit and 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 they 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 grow uh, it takes time it's not something that you decide upon in uh, two months no, it takes right. it, it takes time uh, but i uh, i think it's the uh, this is one thing the other thing at the same time uh, uh, you need to be structured also how you manage the what you sell what we sell is talent and time it, this is what we actually yeah so uh, we talk about the talent, it's okay, but how we manage our time, this is one of the most important things that- uh, the economics of the- The economics of the office, this is one of the most important things because without that, it's like uh, with the creative, you it's uh, also with economics, you need to have a frame. And even uh, when we said, uh, you know, every project that comes to the office, we have uh, 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 our office, uh, the, our back office, let's say, as an economist as well. So I think I sit with uh, her, it's, 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 he's a her. <laughs> I sit with her and we are uh, analyzing the economics of the project in order to give the uh, a proper offer, uh, understanding how long this project will take, how many people we will need to have during the different phases of the project. Uh, you know, we do numbers, okay? And then, of course, uh, we say, okay, this is the a minimal number, this is the maximum number. And, uh, and then other things that they are not about money, they are about how much we, this project, it's a, 
Uh, it's a great opportunity uh, for uh, the name of the office. There are other things that we take in consideration right. that they are not only... But I think your formula that you invented... Of yeah, how you I say project. I have a formula that I say to Alon when I try to convince him that it's <laughs> great to be the best. But if you cannot live from that, it's very bad. And I said, listen, I have a very stupid, very simple formula. It's not stupid, it's very uh, it's smart. A, it's a, I, like I a, you know, very basic, basic, basic formula. That how I do you use choose it. a client? I, I, you know, how do you choose a project, you know? Uh, it's a very, super basic. I said, there are three things, three questions that you need to ask yourself. Is this a good project? Yes or no? Is this... A very uh, good client. Is this a very a good client? Yes or no? If if this is a, a good a, money, a good money. You, uh, yes or no? You need to say yes at least to two. <laughs> you cannot manage with yes. good client, bad uh, project, bad money. bad money. You cannot manage with the. Uh, I want uh, to elaborate. You, a little you bit. understand? It's something that it's very basic. So every time I don't say that. Stop. The Good. three questions. Yeah. <laughs> I want to elaborate a little bit uh, because uh, people uh, are going to like listen. <laughs> I love it. I love it. <laughs> I want to elaborate a little bit uh, about what does it all mean. When we say a good client, it doesn't mean that the client is a good person. A good right. client is a client that can bring you to the next level. A good client is a client that yeah, exactly. uh, has a project. Has, that does a lot of projects of that kind. And if you succeed with this one, it might take you to the next one as well. That's a very good client. A good client is a client that has very good connections with other people, so he can connect you to other people. So this is a good client, okay? And, and, a, good, and, yeah, and, yeah, and, and a good and a good project is, is, is a project that you've never done before and you think it will bring you to the next level of whatever you want to do, you know? A good project is a good project that has a lot of publicity once it's done, you know, if it's in the museum or if it's a public building or if it's something like that. And, uh, well, good money is very simple. So uh, so these are these are the three. So yeah. so like but and never this go, one, never yeah. go to a project because it's only good money, no. because at the end of the day, you have a name to 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 uh, you have a reputation, you yeah. have a reputation. And it's not enough good money, okay? Uh, yeah. you, and, and if you are taking a good client, but you are ready to do bad projects for good money, and then maybe you will be mediocre, and uh, you are going to be someone that does the dreams of others all the time, and you are not getting anything from, from, from that. So it's something, it's a very uh, simple formula that brings, you know, <laughs> you can answer to it very fast. You, it's, it's so simple to answer to. Mm -hmm. it, so it, this is a kind of things that uh, we said, listen, it's an amazing project and the client has a potential. We don't, we don't say the, the questions anymore, but at the beginning it was a training, you know, the three questions. No, we, still, we still ask yeah. ourselves this question, this form, we, we challenge this formula. Way, yeah. yeah. But I think it's it's um, it's a very easy, you know. You can do it yourself at home, and uh, yeah, it, it brings us a lot of. Uh, yeah. Uh, I, I think it put us on track really, really good. Yeah. Really, really good. And then, as as I said, the moment we have an economist in the office uh, that we analyze uh, and uh, we we are yeah. preparing together all our offers, and the moment the project is in the office, uh, the first. Um, uh, we create the brief for the team and I, I sit with the economist and we said this is the project those are the main stages of the project those are this is the, uh, the amount of hours that we are going to we, we can spend in each uh, stage and uh, we have uh, a software in the office that actually the people they, they feed uh, the, the hours uh, uh, every day, uh, every day uh, regarding the projects and the stages. And right. we analyze that and sometimes we understand that uh, we need to give uh, to the pool a little bit more. And we say to the new people, uh, we get them used to the frame as well. We said, listen, for this stage, we have 180 hours. Uh, 
please keep in mind, but don't be stressed about it because we know that it will take you some more. But it's important for us to tell you that usually someone with experience in the way we work, this is, you know, the the, the time that it will take to to develop. Got it. So you're so you're, you're quite cl- you're able to be quite clear on that and say to people. Here's the expected time frame for delivery on Absolutely. this. And actually you've got the data and the evidence to, yes. to back it up. And that's and, what you're using to set your fees as well. And, and I think that every every Sunday we have a team meeting in the office. Right. Where uh, one part of the meeting is going through the hours of each and every project. And this is everybody sits together. So we're all as well, economics, yeah. right. you know, everybody's sitting together. So they even if it's not your project, but you listen. And when you listen to other people, you know, what are their problems? You know, what happened in the middle? You know, what took them back? Why did they need more hours? They learn. They learn for themselves. And that's a very good teaching, you know, the team how to deal deal with, with, with problems. And then we do it every week because we don't want to be in a position that by the end of the phase, we discover that we are 50 hours above or 100 hours above, you know, so the, the, the people in the office, we tell them, don't tell us there is fire in the house, you know, when there's fire, tell us it's going, we're going to have fire in three weeks from now, because this is what happens. So then we sit together and we see, okay, this is the bulk of hours that is left to do. And what do we need still to present? So I said, A, B, C, D, E. So let's think about it creatively. Let's see how we still deliver the material but make it within the hours, you know, and, and if you thought you're going to be over 50 hours, you know, let's try to do it with over 10 hours, you know, minimize the, the, so they learn how to, we give them tools and we don't, we don't, we don't shoot them if they, you know, go beyond, you know, but it's the ability to, to know that creativity, yes, this is what we expect from you, great ex- great uh, execution, this is what we expect from you, and we know it takes time, and something we're over the hours, but be conscious, be conscious and tell us every day, if you see a problem, raise a flag, we'll be there for you, we'll help you out, you know, so they are not alone, it's not like them and the hours and wow, what am I going to do, it's not mm-hmm. like that, it's like we are, you know, yeah. We are there to support. What is amazing that uh, since uh, we work like this and uh, we are re- really deep in this way of working, yeah. uh, uh, the people are not here, you know, I, I, until midnight anymore. <laughs> yeah. It's, uh, they manage to, to, to manage their own uh, private lives as well. Uh, it helps everyone to be, you know, uh, very focus. conscious and focus. and focus, and uh, it helps also for their private life, which is very important. Absolutely, we we have people that are studying the second degree in the uh, university, right? You know, uh, that they teach, and it's fun. We find a way to do it because we think that if you give them the ability, you know, to to be what they want to be within our office, then we are all, it's a, it's a win-win situation yeah. for everybody. And also we ask, uh, we, uh, we incentive uh, people, men or women, to take two, uh, to, to do two days that they are uh, until three o'clock only, so they can uh, go back uh, to their kids or they go to, to do other things and then they work more other days. So this is something it's not about. Uh, it's something that, you know, it's uh, taking care of the quality of, of the life of the people that uh, work here in the office. This is something that it's very important because but we find out it's that it's not about only doing a, a getting a, a paying good salaries or a, a being a respected firms. It's about the people that they feel that this this we are as Alon said. A, I am because we are. It's mm-hmm. something that we are very proud of. So if uh, we did an amazing presentation, though we have a great kitchen here. So we go all together and we drink a shot of whiskey all together. And there are certain things that we do 
as a team because we are so uh, and uh, even if uh, to the other people we have a whatsapp uh, group uh, to the other people that they are not uh, uh, part of the presentation we write in the whatsapp we just uh, uh, we have our small, uh, you know, sh um, jokes. Uh, everyone is still sp hospitalized. <laughs> it was amazing. Uh, you know, it's the kind of fun uh, thing. <laughs> yeah, we, we share with yeah. everybody yeah. with this WhatsApp. This our <laughs> practice has this WhatsApp, and you know, every every uh, publication we have every day we have publication somewhere around the world. You know, mm -hmm. so we bring it the link up uh, on the WhatsApp. You know, and then you see. The entire team is really excited. Wow, you know, look at that, look at that. Yeah, hey, go, 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 BK, you know. And that. So yeah. it's you, this is how you create spirit, uh, team spirit, you know, in your office, that you, you you share it with everybody and everybody feels part of it. And this yeah. is, yeah. And also this is so the, basic yeah. for success. And also with the teams that they are not, uh, 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 that they are, it's not freelancers, but let's say that it's not the, 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 the everyday team of uh, Baranovich and Kron, uh, they're from uh, the guys, uh, the office in, in Madrid uh, that they uh, help us uh, in the project in Ibiza. So uh, when something comes about Ibiza, we share the, it with them as well. So, you know, they, they want to, be, to keep uh, being involved in projects that, uh, uh, and this is important. Well, you, you, were, you were talking about how you set in your fees and the importance of getting that right and that the experience that you've got and the data that you have helps you kind of, um, you know, put in accurate free proposals. How do you typically get in front of those projects in the first place? How do you attract the good clients? Uh -huh. <laughs> <laughs> well, um, I think I think it's there's there's a lot of um, it's it's a very long journey you know it's like uh, we we are marketing is something that um, is is of course it's very important but um, we don't we believe in word of mouth we believe in in people we know clients that we know to bring us other clients and and i must say that we, i don't think we ever had a marketing meeting really you know right. we never we, we don't and do marketing those meetings. that we had we didn't feel that was the right way yes. to so it's about i think it's about uh being in the right place in the right time you know because we travel a lot uh we try to meet with people, you know, that are, you know, part of a project or, or, or connected to projects. And, and it's a word of mouth, you know, it's something somebody speaks, brings, calls us back. And, and, and I must say that most of our clients are returning clients. Right. So in a year, we could have only maybe two new clients, you know, uh, that's it. Uh, all the rest are keep coming with the project. And this is something that, like we said earlier in this conversation, is that we believe in quality and we believe in making the best of each and every project and putting ourselves in the front because that's what you're paying for. You're paying for BK and not for the guardkeeper. So this is this is this is who we are. And therefore, you know, when when usually around the world, you know, all kinds of CEOs they're not used to see the owners of the office stepping into a meeting. You know, they, they, they see senior architects, but they don't see the owners. And, and we are always there. So this allows us to create intimate relationship with whatever CEO is. And so we develop these relationships. And, and at the end of the day, it works. So uh, people are calling, you know, CEOs are recommending or owners are recommending us because we give them... I great say, service yeah. and great results. Yeah. So, so yeah. So marketing meetings we hardly do, if, but we have a good PR as well, which yeah. is very important. I think that the most important thing, the best marketing tool for designers, it's uh, to ha uh, to make a very good project that it's uh, published. That's this it. is the, uh, and then you know it's like an uh, uh, I said that. Uh, 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 Every good office has a few projects that they were kamikazes. And that, 
and that one, okay? And you need to pick your battles and you need to be ready to be a kamikaze uh, a few times in your, in your professional life and to give, give whatever it takes, no matter what. Yeah, what you, you know, have you and what to, you don't have. What you have and what you don't have. <laughs> and you know, but it, because you understand that you have an opportunity, this is for young architects, mm -hmm. for young designers, for, uh, for young architects. You need to, if you have a very good opportunity, take it. Take it because uh, because uh, at the end of the day it, it doesn't matter off. how much you will talk. At the end of the day, you need to show that you can deliver. Got it. And this this is a very important thing. So of course we were kamikazes uh, when we were. No, but uh, but we were. But I, I want to say there's also there's another side to the kamikaze because if 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 you have a very strong integrity on what you do, and I'll give you an example. Uh, we did a restaurant. I wouldn't uh, want to name uh, its name, but um, I come to uh, supervise the job on site. And suddenly I see that they are building a wall which should have been one meter ten height, and they are building it high, like three meters. And I, I told them, what are you doing? It says, it says well, uh, the owner. It was the other way around. No, no, no. Never yeah. mind. It's <laughs> it's the wall. Yeah. <laughs> and I told them, listen, you cannot do that. This is not the intention. This will ruin the project. It will really, you know, um, dilute the experience of the people. Don't go there. And he said, no, we thought about it and we want to build it up. So I told him, listen, it's either me or the wall. So you decide. Okay, if you're not getting it down to whatever it should be, I'm walking from this project. Okay, now you have to be very, very brave, you know, to, to say to a client, thank you, but no thank you, you know? So this, they, told, they looked at me very surprised, you know, like uh, with open eyes and says, uh, Alon, uh, let us, let, allow us a five minutes uh, to talk on the side, you know, we'll, so you see four, you know, very capable uh, clients, uh, you know, talking uh, between themselves and, and they come back and they say, we decided that we want you to stay. So we'll, we'll bring the wall down to whatever you, yeah. uh, and, uh, and, and that was the end of it. And so what I'm trying to say is that when you give all of yourselves don't let anybody spoil it on the way, you know, and, and be strong enough to say, if it's not my way, it's the highway. Not okay. Yet. So if uh, not on each and every project, but there are some projects that you have no, to say. No, there are some battles. Yeah. You, can, some you battles, need to yeah. choose your battles. Exactly. You cannot, it's not about ego. It's not about saying it's my dream. You know, it's about understanding what are the things that you cannot give up. Because if project. not, you lose the project. And, and, and it's not about uh, 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 give satisfaction all the time to the clients and let them do whatever they want. But at the same time, you need to be receptive to the client. You need to, you need to manage the relationship. Mm -hmm. And you need to choose your battles. You need to understand what is very important and what is less important. And, and, and it's, uh, you know, you need to be a grown-up person and not an ego driving absolutely <laughs> so so this is and 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 what irene is talking about is something that comes with age you right. know you cannot do it when you are 25 so you cannot you are full of yourself you know we're full of ego you think you know everything and you know nothing so you know they say that a successful young architect is about 60 years old this is how it goes you know? <laughs> so uh so yeah i think i think age brings a lot of wisdom and experience yeah, with ego, it. Yeah. <laughs> and uh yeah we have to choose our battles but uh and fight them well when you choose a battle so amazing uh, yeah and and I suppose just to, to, to wrap up and conclude the conversation, you mentioned uh, a few times throughout this conversation, your North Star. Could you yes. explain to us, what, how would you describe what your North Star is in the office? Okay, um, we started 20 years ago. Maybe. Yeah. Um, we, we wanted to, our North Star was, first of all, to be an international office. Mm -hmm. We wanted to do a project abroad. Um, and then there's also when you, you, our lifestyle, yeah, and we then, wanted and to then, keep our lifestyle exactly. very... So our, our, our Northern Star is, is like Irene mentioned before, 
it's our quality of life, okay? Uh, because, you know, we are couples, you know, we live together as well. Um, so everything we do, th there are no partitions, you know, wh when are we designers, when are we couples, when are we lovers, and when are we grandparents, okay? So everything is together. It's one big mix of life, you know? Yeah. So, so you need to set your northern star and say, okay, where do we want to be 10 years from now or five years from now, you know? But where do we want to be uh, in terms of profession, in terms of our life, in terms of our family, in terms of economics, in terms of whatever, you know? And you put it in writing. You put it, we write it, right? right. And, then, and then we say, okay, we have a list of five or seven things. Now we take each one of them and we say, what actions we need to do in order to achieve number one. So we write it, okay? Okay, you want to be international? Okay, you need at least two international projects a year. You need to be in these magazines internationally. You need to be uh, um, appointed for a jury or for something or whatever. And we, we, each one of the points we put on the side, what are the actions that are needed in order to get there? And believe me, every five years we look at it and we are way beyond it. You know, we, we, <laughs> it's like that. Uh, but it's a tough work. Yeah, it's but tough it, work. it starts always, it cannot, it can never be a plan that it that has nothing to be with you. You understand? Yeah. Because it, it then it will not work. You need to understand who you are. You need to, to understand what you want from your life, from yourself. Uh, and if this is achievable, you know, if you are not having dreams that nothing to do with you. So I think that this is the most important thing to understand what you want. <laughs> what is it, what fix you best? And when we decide uh, we enjoy so much uh, to sit in our secret place in Portugal and think about crazy concepts uh, while we are in vacation, it's because we want to design. Uh, how we can keep designing? It's not having a uh, an office of two hundred people because we then we will we'll do only business. So we need to have a very very strong core of fifteen people and work with uh, satellites satellites around because then we can keep designing. So what, this was a, a very important thing. This was our northern we uh, northern star the first one i want we want to keep being designers and this is the only way to do it, uh, yeah. it when you do um, big projects and uh, and for that you need to have a proper uh, proper fees because you know you cannot keep an office like this with fees that they are very low you cannot grow there yeah. so everything and then how uh, we are doing our you know it's our about uh, we we don't have a separation between a uh, leisure and work it's a pleasure think our life you know business and pleasure all together and we enjoy it uh, this way so for us it was very simple to decide that this is the way we do it we work and and have, and have fun at the same time always. Every place that we will fly, we will go to very good hotels, very good uh, restaurants. Uh, we will uh, try to uh, as much as we can. Not always it's possible to to stay uh, uh, never to come uh, to take a fly at five uh, o'clock in the morning and to fly back during the night, uh, spend another night. So we we take really care of our, our quali quality of life in our uh, pleasure uh, style of life, living. Yeah, beautiful. Beautiful. I think that's the perfect place to conclude the conversation. Uh, Alana and Irene, thank you so much for yeah, sharing your experience and how you work with people um, and how you've, how you've built your, your business. It's been really, really insightful and really inspiring to hear. So thank, thank you very much. much. Thank you for having us. It was a pleasure us. for us as well. Thank pleasure. You.
And that's a wrap. And don't forget, if you want to access your free training to learn how to structure your firm or practice for freedom, fulfillment and profit, please visit smartpracticemethod.com. Or if you'd like to speak to one of our advisors directly, follow the link in the information. The views expressed on this show by my guests do not represent those of the host and I make no representation, promise, guarantee, pledge, warranty, contract bond or commitment except to help you be unstoppable.